All right, time for a twist. <laughs> 011 here and today I'm gonna be showcasing my best cards from each of the 31 NHL teams But with a twist now that twist is if you've seen the first video of this I put out recently most of the cards if you couldn't tell were future watches I mean, it's what I collect and it was pretty much a future watch showcase There was very few cards that weren't future watches in that video So today there won't be any future watches in this list so there's gonna be a wide variety of cards in here. That being said, 16 of the 31 cards are from you guys, from mail videos. That's probably because I sell a lot of cards. The only cards that I pretty much keep are the future watches and stuff I get from you guys. So pretty much most of this stuff is from you guys. <laughs> So there's that. If there's a set value on these cards, I'll try to throw it up. If there isn't, then I won't, but I'll try to put values on these. So yeah, let's start off the Anaheim Ducks. Not Jaguar, not Uncle Todd. Yeah, we got a Maxime Comtois, Premier Attractions Rookie Auto Patch from UD Premier. So I pulled this one last year. And yes, this is going off of value. So there is that. There's Comtois. Also, I still had a really hard time finding certain teams. Like Tampa and Colorado and Winnipeg. I had a really hard time finding cards for those specific teams. But there is the Anaheim Ducks, Comtois. Next up is the Arizona Coyotes, Brendan Perlini. Uh, 101 Shield, exquisite collection from the Cup, 1617. I use the uh, black one of one shield and the other one, but yeah, it's pretty much interchangeable. There's a Perlini Shield, exquisite. That's a nice one there. There you go. Next up is the Boston Bruins. I sold the Joe Thornton, Side of the Times Decades. I didn't plan on selling it, but crap happens. Also, I sold the Connor Clifton, which is actually worth more than this, which is questionable, but yeah. Don Cherry, Side of the Times Auto. So this is the first card from you guys. This awesome Don Cherry Auto. There you go. Don Cherry, Side of the Times. That's 0405 SPA. So that's the Boston Bruins, Don Cherry Auto. Next up, the Buffalo Sabres. I had troubles finding cards for Buffalo as well. But I guess I'll do this. Got Grant Fuhrer, Topps Archives, uh, Game Worn Jersey. Technically a Buffalo Sabres card there, even though we didn't play on the Sabres in 87, but there you go, Grant Fuhrer jersey. So there's that. So there's the Buffalo Sabres, Grant Fuhrer. Next up is the Calgary Flames, and geez, like, if I don't have future watches, I have not much. <laughs> we got a Mark Giordano, UD Premier, uh, what is this called? Signature Award Winners from 1617 UD Premier, $34.99. Got this from a tin of... 1670 premiere, which I got from James, so there you go. Giordano. Nothing crazy there. Don't have that Monahan, of course, but there's that. Next up is the Canes. I mean, this is probably going to change because I sold this, but I haven't got payment, so hey, it's still mine. Got DeAndre Svechikov. Limited auto materials. Waiting on payment for that. That'd be nice if they pay. And then I'll probably have a Nedeljkovic card there instead of uh, Svechikov here. I did not plan on selling this either, but there you go. Limited all materials, Andrei Svechikov. Next up, the Chicago Blackhawks. And people ask me what my favorite card is. It's the Jonathan Taze Young Guns. This is my favorite card in my collection. This is like one of the first big cards I got when I got into collecting hockey cards, transitioning from Pokemon cards in 2008. So there you go. Jonathan Taze Young Guns. The most sentimental card for sure. Or the Taze Young Guns. Next up, the Avalanche. And how the heck do I not have any, like, McKinnon, Ranton, Landis Gog, Joe Sackick, Peter Forsberg, Patrick Waugh cards? I, I don't know. I guess I do have a McKinnon card here. We got a SPX Extravagant Materials jersey. This is the best card, I guess. It's kind of shocking. I did have some nice, all of those players I mentioned, but yeah, don't have them anymore, questionably. There you go, 1819 SPX. McKinnon. Next up is the Jackets. I uh, got Unis Corpusalo, SB Game Used, Blue Rookie Auto, 1516 SB Game Used. I had other options for the Jackets, but I went with this. I mean, both of the cards, I already forget what card it was, but they're in the same ballpark. So I went with Corpusalo because I felt like it goes for a bit more. But there you go. I don't even have a value on it, but I feel like it would go for a bit more. But there's Corpusalo. So there's that. Next up is the Dallas Stars. Miro Haskinen, Young Guns. So. Nothing special, just a Haskin and Young Guns. But hey, it's still a nice one to have, Haskin. In. There you go. Um, next up, Detroit Red Wings. This one I pulled recently. Philip Zadina, Side of the Times Rookies. So that one's not too bad. 
The price has dipped since when I pulled it, but it's a nice card. Definitely a fan of that auto. So he is a fairly uh, intriguing prospect. He could really break out, but there's also a risk to that. But still, there you go. Sign Times Rookies to 99. 1920 SBA. All right. I have unfinished business with SBA. Uh, next up is the Edmonton Oilers. Could you guess the player? Connor McDavid. Foundations quad jersey auto. Yeah, I pulled this. There you go. I had no business opening the cup then. I just said, frick it. Bought a tin of the cup, 16, 17, and I pulled this. But yeah, there's a McDavid Foundations. This card's a close second behind Taves for favorite cards in the collection. So there you go, McDavid Foundations. Next up is the Florida Panthers. I literally have nothing of Florida. I don't even know how that's possible, but we got a UD game jersey from 1213 of Yeah, 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 that's it. That's all I have of the Florida Panthers. Sold that Barkoff auto. I sold a lot, geez. Next up is the LA Kings. I've had this card for quite a while. Probably because it's heavy and I don't feel like shipping it because it's heavy. Literally, that's why I haven't sold it. <laughs> Martin Jones from National Treasures. Rookie Riches auto to 99 so yeah martin jones auto i lost my chance of opening 1314 nt hockey but still a nice card there martin jones i don't know about the goaltender on the card but <laughs> there you go here's his time on the kings before he got traded to what the bruins and then to the sharks so there's that next up this little wild fabric of the game 1213 certified heater danny healy there you go awesome sharks patch on there but still it's a wild card, two of five. There you go, game worn piece from Eater there. It's a really nice card. Next up, Montreal Canadiens. Card I pulled, Carey Price, Young Guns. So there you go, there's Carey Price, Young Guns. Finally pulled that. I was hunting that way back when, when I was getting blasters of uh, Series 1 and Series 2, 708, I was looking for Carey Price. I mean, I pulled a taste from a blaster. I got a cane from three loose packs. I got Kane and Backstrom from three loose packs, which is nuts, but never pulled Carey Price, finally pulled him 12 years later, or almost 12 years later, so there you go, Carey Price on guns. Next up, the Predators, another team I don't have much of, but you got a Pekka Rene, ultimate signatures, one card that's kind of stuck around in my collection, Pekka Rene, there you go, that's kind of a theme with me, um, if certain players don't have future watch autos, then I'll just get an auto of them. Like a nice on-card auto. So there's that. But yeah, there's a Pekka Rene auto. That's not too bad. It's 11, 12 ultimate. So there's that. Next up is the New Jersey Devils. Another team I don't have a whole lot of. That's high end for that matter. But still, we've got a Mackenzie Blackwood. Ice Premiers. 499. Number two of 499. Blackwood there. He was really good for the Devils this past year. We'll see if the team in front of him will be better next year. But yeah, there's a Blackwood Ice Premiers. That one's not too bad. Next up is the New York Islanders. No Uncle Todd, but of course, it's the Islanders. Got to have Josh. Josh Hosang. Black Diamond. Diamond Relic Rookies. Triple Diamond. I think this goes for more than the Cup RPA, so it's in here. You got some diamonds. Ooh. Josh put out a song, too, which is interesting, called Learning. But yeah, there's a Josh Hosang. Diamond Relic Rookies. There you go. 17, 18. Okay. Next up is the Rangers. As soon as I ship this out, it's going to be Capo Caco, but still waiting for payment for Igor Shesterkin. A lot of three young guns. Still waiting to get paid for that. Kind of hostile. I don't really like pressuring people to pay, but I might have to this time. But yeah, Igor Shesterkin, uh, young guns is number one. If you watch a prior video, you know my stance on Igor. I don't have any doubts that he's going to be a really good goalie, but we'll see. We'll see. Next up, Ottawa Senators. Uh, no heaters for the sense. Actually, we got a Drake Batherson. What the heck? Ah, uh, just take it out. Um, Premier Gold RPA, forty of ninety nine. Batherson. Yeah, that's a good one there. Gold RPA. He's one of Ottawa's better prospects. He did get some playing time. So there you go, Drake Batherson. Nice patch in there. Really nice looking card. Like the gold parallel going with the uh, pieces in there. Looks real nice. So there's a Batherson RPA from Premier. For the Sens. Next up, the Philadelphia Flyers. Uh, you can probably guess the player, but we got a Carter Hart from Clear Cut Embedded Endorsements. Rookie Auto, $78.99. So there's that. Really nice card there. Carter Hart on card auto. I'm not too huge on Clear Cut. 
yeah it's coming back this year but like you're just gonna get some five dollar autos and you have a chance at getting something like this but it's another product that you should probably get by the case and that's uh, not happening with clear cut that's for sure but there you go there's a carter hart embedded endorsements rookie auto sweet card all right next up is the pens i mean take your pick they had the 1718 limited auto from sba and the 1819 limited auto from sba they're pretty much the same i would say there's no odds or grouping for these but first box i pulled this the 27th box I pulled this so i mean they're the same but hey Sidney crosby autograph so that's a big step up from i don't even know what would have been my best card if i did not pull these so yeah sid next up is the san jose sharks i uh, went with one of my burns autos went with a goal auto brent burns from full force 15 16 Die cut auto there. Burns, I like his auto. It's kind of cool. There you go, Brent Burns. Stadium series jersey there. 1560 full force. I think the other auto I have is like a auto fax or something. Not too great a burn. So there's that. Brent Burns, goal. Next up is the St. Louis Blues. And we got some ice. Robert Thomas, Sub-Zero rookie auto. I think it's a Sub-Zero Blue Rookie Auto, right? But there you go, Robert Thomas, Blue Sub-Zero Rookie Auto. He was pretty decent this past year. Still has breakout potential there. Yeah, there's Robert Thomas. That's a nice one there. Nice on-card auto. Robert Thomas. Next up is a team I probably had the hardest time finding anything for. It's the Tampa Bay Lightning. Anthony Sorelli, Ice Premieres. Like, it was between this and, like, a Le Cavalier insert. Like, how do I have nothing of the Lightning? Well, I mean, I don't have nothing, but everything's, like, cheap inserts and stuff. But take a Sorelli. Ice Premier is a four ninety nine. He's solid. 1819 Ice. So, yeah, there's my best Lightning card. That's not a future watch. So, not Vasilevsky or Point. I don't have any Stamco stuff at all. I used to have three Stamco Young Guns, by the way. Next up is the Toronto Maple Leafs. Um, there's Morgan Riley in the back, so it's not Morgan Riley this year. It's this card. It's the 11 12 Contenders Original Six Booklet with Maple Leaf goalies. Johnny Bauer, Grant Fear, Felix Potman, Cujo, Eddie, and James Reimer. So, yeah, I pulled this back in December of last year. Such an awesome card. Holy jeez. What an awesome card. I have a bunch of Leaf cards there below this, but nothing else above it, really. Like, that isn't a future watch. Like, for Matthews and Marner and Nylander. I just have their future watch. Literally, that's it. But yeah, there's the Leafs. That booklet, such an awesome card. Also one of my favorites right there. So there's that. Next up, the Vancouver Canucks. Shockingly, not Uncle Todd. Got this very nice, though. Kirk McLean from 1617. 1617 SP game used. Ink sweaters. Jersey auto. So there you go. Kirk McLean. 44.50. Pulled the sign of the times. That's one of the survivors there of cards I've pulled. I need to sort a bunch of cards. I started the process. Finding these cards took me hours, but I need to start the process of sorting cards. But yeah, there's Kirk McLean. Auto. Pretty nice. There you go. Next up, Vegas. No change from the prior video. It's the Marcia So. Limited auto from 1819 SBA. It's pretty nice there, Marcia So. And no. No Jimmy Schultz. Jeez. Next up, got the Washington Capitals. Got the koozie, the Young Guns canvas, UD buybacks. So there's that. Mm. Okay, I'll stop. But yeah, there you go. <laughs> koozie, buybacks, that's pretty sweet. So yeah, I got nothing of Ovechkin. Absolutely nothing. Okay, the Winnipeg Jets, another team I just couldn't find anything of. Of course, I was like, you know what? Just throw in the Thrashers in. Throw in the Thrashers. That opens up a bunch of interesting cards, but couldn't do that. I'd be mildly hostile to current Jets fans. So, I got this instead. Nick Batan, 1516 UE Black. Lustrous Inc. Dual Jersey Auto, $65.99. Nothing special there. He's a depth guy. I feel like he should have made the opening night roster for the Leafs, but they put Timoshoff in instead, and now Timoshoff is no longer on the team. Just hostile all around. He's never going to play for the Maple Leafs. He needs a chance somewhere else. He's a good player, but... There's that. He's NHL caliber, in my opinion. I think he can be a solid third liner. But yeah, there's Patan. UD Black 1516. Like, probably 400 bucks a box for that stuff. But there you go. That's the last team. See ya, guys. Frick my bone. There is my best card from each of the 31 NHL teams. Minus these things.
So definitely an improvement from prior years. It was a lot worse last year. Like I just took like base cards and stuff for some teams. So a lot better. So there's that. So yeah, guys, stay tuned for more bricks to come. And as always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys later.